It's winter in beautiful Santa Fe, and we are pleased to present the second edition of Llewellyn Brings the Gallery to You. I'm Stephen Gonzalez, and we begin in the main gallery with a vibrant new exhibition, True Colors, on view through March 2nd. It's been said that color is the very embodiment of beauty. The father of abstraction, Vasily Kandinsky wrote, color is a power which directly influences the soul. True Colors includes paintings by Joshua Elias, whose work is known for nuanced compositions created through his unique use of sfumato. This technique blends tones and colors to shade and gradually produce softened forms of hazy areas of color, one into another. Elias creates colorful narrative works that use polarities of color, harmonic forms, and disappearing lines that provide frameworks for his compositions. Also included are Connie Conley's paintings of complex elegance. Her imagery merges landscape reference with powerful, evocative abstraction. Her poetic colorscapes with their expressive brushwork, sweeping gestural marks, and animated cadence reflect her passion for distilling the essence of her observations of nature. Citing Joan Mitchell as an important influence in her work, Conley employs exuberant, impassioned colors laid on her canvases. They teeter between the action painting of her abstract expressionist forebears and a more refined personal style that modulates the graceful strokes and dabs that comprise her surfaces. Sammy Peter's paintings represent an unfettered convergence of color, pattern, twisting lines, assorted materials, and textures assembled in shapes to create intelligent realms of playful yet sophisticated mystery and witty contemplation. His canvases attract the eye with unexpected and engaging compositions of color blocks, variegated shadings, and an endless variety of elaborate shapes. Mark Pamilio's art references the forces and geometries of the natural world through delicate color and a layered expressive use of line that echo the naturally occurring sense of abstraction in the physical world. Mirroring the dynamic, interlocking systems that underlie the physical environment, Pamilio's paintings are each self-contained universes of softly layered forms and fluid calligraphic lines. Pamilio conveys ideas through subtle colors and an abstract, expressive use of line and geometric forms, reflecting the building blocks and energetic properties of the natural world. The works included in True Colors draw attention to the expressive qualities of each artist's use of surfaces of color, energetic forms, and gestural lines. The exhibition is up through March 2nd. On display in our modern gallery is an exhibition of works on paper by Fritz Scholder. Scholder is legendary for his groundbreaking reinvention of the portrayal of Native Americans in fine art that began in the 1960s and which radically departed from stereotypical depictions of the mythic Indian. His oil and acrylic paintings on canvas now command lofty prices, but an equally notable aspect of his artistic legacy are his works on paper. His drawings and prints often feature bold, expressive, vibrant colors and powerful imagery. This remarkable exhibition will be on display through February 10th. The Pavilion Gallery currently features Glass and Wonders, the largest exhibition of world-class contemporary glass art hosted by Lou Allen in its more than 47 years of business. The exhibition includes more than 60 pieces of important glass art by 24 internationally recognized artists. Many of the works are from the museum quality collection of Dr. Arnold and Doris Rowland, who are major patrons and glass collectors, in addition to numerous works by Lou Allen's esteemed artists, many of whom are also included in the Rowland's collection. Glass and Wonders provides a broad variety of examples of glass art making techniques, such as blown, cast, fused, cut, carved, and slump glass, and offers a rare opportunity to see the works of so many world-renowned artists in one show. Glass and Wonders is on exhibit through February 17th. 
Two smaller exhibits grace our second level mezzanine exhibition area. The first is a wonderful selection of recent works on paper and canvases focused on scenes of New York City by Ben Aronson, the well-known painter of contemporary urban landscapes. And the second is a breathtaking gallery hall featuring 12 small paintings of everyday people cast in the grandeur of the Renaissance or that of the Dutch masters by the extraordinary painter of indigenous peoples of Latin and South America, the late Elias Rivera. Later this winter, Llewellyn Galleries presents two uniquely different exhibitions. In the main gallery will be an exhibition entitled Artists of the Fourth Dimension, comprised of paintings on canvas and paper by the late geometric abstractionist Maurice Golubov. Golubov's work was a personal quest of spirituality and pursuit of an alternate dimension to the observable world that sought to capture a greater essence of reality in the realm beyond the merely physical. He pushed the boundaries during America's golden age of modern art. Then, in a departure from the gallery's signature abstract and representational art, Llewellyn hosts an exciting new exhibition in the pavilion featuring the works of late Japanese artist Manolo Arake. Arake was a highly successful industrial designer who died in 2010. He was also an accomplished Japanese ink painter and the ancient literati spirit who was renowned for masterful East Asian brush paintings that he never sold during his lifetime. His work is now in major U.S. and international museums. We're so pleased to bring Llewellyn Galleries to you and welcome you to reach out to us for more information about any of these featured artists. Visit our website, LlewellynGalleries.com, to see the works of our many extraordinary modern and contemporary artists. We look forward to seeing you here in the gallery and next time when we bring the gallery to you.